halfway. Good. Bring the feet up to the hands. Float. Land like a butterfly. Nice. Good. Sway with the right leg. Couple more. Good. Inside. Here we go. Same leg. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, hip. Look at me. What's up everyone, I'm back to discuss bass and back from P90X2. Now, let me just start out by saying that this routine is brutal, super intense, super insane, it's a monster. And it's, it's not like, you know, your Sean T workout from Insanity Asylum or, or, you know, the old Insanity, but it's hard in its own way, okay? This routine is very tough. Now I have heard the one-on-one -on -one version of this is harder. I don't know if that's correct. Uh, anyone out there who hasn't done the one-on-ones, great. Again, like I've repeated myself on the other X2 reviews, I have not done the one-on-ones. So um, I don't know what those are like. Um, that reminds me. You should probably preview this workout if you haven't done the one-on-ones. I've said that with my other X2 reviews as well. Preview the workouts before you do it. And especially this one too. Tony even tells the camera, he, he tells the crew to stick within the 10 to 12 pull-up range. 
and there's a reason for that. You're rotating from pull-ups to plyometrics, pull-ups to plyometrics. It's honestly a brutal routine. I, the first time I did this routine, I felt pretty nauseous towards the end. And man, oh man, and still every time I do this routine, it, it destroys me every time. So let's talk about that now. Um, I'm gonna give my first tip. Tip number one, pace yourself, okay? You really, really want to pace yourself. This routine is a monster, all right? It's honestly probably the hardest from P90X2. Um, there is another workout that I find very hard in phase three, but I'll get to that in phase three. That's PAP lower. However, that's more for your lower body. With this routine, I do find it a bit tougher because you're incorporating pull-ups with plyometrics. Okay, that combined is going to absolutely annihilate you from head to toe because you're you're just rotating from pull-ups to plyo, and it's going to really build up your lactic acid, and you're going to feel like you're going to want to throw up. So pace yourself. Remember that. Okay, that's the only tip I can really think of for this workout. Pace yourself, because this is a very tough routine. With that said, I'm going to talk about the rest of the workout. Now, there are a few exercises that are very tough in this routine, such as the V pull-ups, and the chair jumps, and like the jack-in-the-box knee tucks. That move alone is so hard on the quads. Every time I'm done with this routine, finishing off with Jack in the Box knee tucks, my quads are so sore. So, again, pace yourself. There's a reason why there are 30 second time frames in this routine from exercise to exercise. Yes, it can get a little bit annoying from time to time if, if you're waiting to do the next move, but they're doing that because it's such a high impact routine because you're just completely annihilating your legs and you're even annihilating your back. I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is the sequel to Legs and Back from the original P90X. So I'm going to give this routine a solid 10 out of 10, probably honestly my favorite from Phase 2. Uh, there. There is one other strength workout that is probably slightly above base and back, just for other reasons, but this is definitely my second favorite. It's such a brutal workout, and you're gonna be tired when you're done, and trust me when I say if you have that recovery formula, use it after this routine. You're gonna need it. So 10 out of 10 rating, remember everyone, don't overdo it. This is a very tough routine. You're rotating from upper body to lower body exercises. It's you're you're gonna be working the total body, and it's gonna absolutely like get you up to that uh, level of almost wanting to throw up. So be careful here. Pace yourself and just be smart and be very very careful with this routine. Your anaerobic. Uh, sorry, your anaerobic metabolism is going to be through the roof. So just remember to pause if you have to, if you feel like you need to take a break and get a sip of water and then jump back in. So that's my review for today. I love this routine, although I do kind of have like a love hate relationship with this one just because it's so tough. So I love it because it destroys me and I hate it as well for that same reason. So 10 out of 10, absolutely love this routine, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.